Hi again. This time we're going to be solving 7 minus 4d equals minus 2d. And so we, as always, want to get the variable on its own. And in this case, we could bring the 4d to this side. That's the easiest, because otherwise we'd have to bring 2d to this side, bring 7 over there. It's just more work. So we'll bring 4d to this side, because it doesn't matter what side we end up getting the answer on. It's the same. So we have 7 minus 4d, and we want to get rid of this 4d on the one side. As always, we do the opposite. We have minus, so we have to add 4d. But we have to do that to the, same, the other side as well. So plus 4d here. And these will cancel out. So we're left with 7 on this side. And what we got is minus 2d plus 4d, or 2d. And again, we want the variable all on its own, so we have to do the opposite of what's being done to the variable. We're multiplying by 2, so the opposite divide by 2. And as always, do the same to both sides. This will cancel. And we're left with 7 over 2 equals d. And again, doesn't matter that the, the variable is on this side. It's the same thing as if it was on either side. We could rewrite it on the other side if we want. Also, don't be afraid to get a fraction. If you wanted to, you could actually divide this out and find as 3.5 equals d. Both are the same in this case, but a lot of times a fraction is more accurate anyway, because we don't have to take out our calculator and round it off. So don't be afraid to leave things as a fraction. Depends on the course what they ask you for. So that's it.